At the heart of object delay is the delay module. And there are two delay lines. The first line applies a simple delay to the input signal adjusted with this knob, while the second line is a feedback loop allowing for echoes based on the amount that we dial up with this feedback knob. Now there's a link parameter and it's used to link the values of the first and the echoes knob. So in other words, when you adjust the duration, all the delay lines of the module will function at the same value. Now we have a sync button that we can enable here to allow the delays to be synced to the tempo in the host DAW. And we can use the dial to step between the values or we can press this button to call up a palette where we can select from a grid. And we have a multiplier where we can work at double the value or half the value or two over three ratio or four over three. So we can get some interesting multiples and we get a display here of what multiple is selected. I'm going to leave it at one for now. So it's playing back the true value that we click at over there. And we click this again to close it. The second delay line is part of the feedback loop that allows us to create echo effects. So the feedback knob is used to adjust the decay rate of the echoes. We have a high and low cut filter, and those are used to filter the frequencies of the echoes that are generated, and they're set at a gentle 6 dB per octave slope. And finally, we have a ping pong button, and that allows the left and right signals to be mixed together and then alternate between the left and right sides. So let's put this to work on a simple percussive bass part. We can turn each module on and off, and I'll start with it off. And I'll set some simple quarter note delays. And I'll turn on ping pong so it moves from left to right. With link off, I can set the two independently. So let's have the first delay start after a quarter note. And then after that, we'll have it repeat at eighth notes. Another idea is to unsync one, and I can create a kind of comb filter effect by using a very subtle delay. Let me turn ping pong off, and we'll get a kind of thickening comb filter, and then have those repeat at eighth notes. I'll dial this down, and then dial it up so you can hear the difference. We might turn on the LFO module and use that to modulate the time. Maybe in this case, I have it set here to the first echo, so it'll modulate a very small amount to create a thickening in that comb filter effect. And a slow rate. And we can optionally run it through an object for a different color. Let's turn those off and filter the delays. Let's bring these up in the mix. Let's look at another scenario. Here's a picked guitar part with no delay applied. I'm going to turn it on and unlink the modes and create a very subtle thickening just by using the first delay. And now we'll try modulating that a subtle amount with a very slow rate and little amount. And we'll set this to the echoes at a slightly different rate with feedback. We're modulating it both above and below the value here, which is a simple 8 milliseconds. It's a nice thickening effect. We can engage ping pong to get it wider. And with 
without this. And we can control the blend here. And optionally run it through an object. alter its timbre. So those are some ideas on how you can use the delay module.